and you force him inside to make the play. All right, set the edge, boom, go make the play. That's just a heck of a play. It's really good. How do I get a college football scholarship, a series where we evaluate active high school football players and share with them what they need to do in order to make their game film better, their social media better, and then at the end, share what divisions they have the best chance of earning a college football scholarship at, as well as what they need to do to get to the next division. Now, this evaluation is done by myself and our head coach, Brian Overton, who has 15 years of division one recruiting experience. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I wanna do is give some feedback on the X account itself. And it's actually really, really well set up. There's some really good things here. The only small suggestion I would make, because these are really good, right? These are good numbers. We want to show those. Um, is instead of the 40 time, what I would do is put your email here. You got your phone number. I know you're 25, so that's really good. I would just, let's add your, your email address here. And, you know, it's this is one of those things that doesn't really help you. doesn't really hurt you either. So, you know, that's that's my suggestion for you. I like how you have the city state here. Again, when it comes to putting things like, you know, your school, your position, your class, those things are mandatory. When it comes to like your GPA and certain lifts and stuff like that, you know, we like to switch those up depending on what's the strength of the actual player themselves, right? And so for Jacob, you know, he's got some really good lifts in here and so some other really good things that will break down in his film, but I would say uh, that's a simple change that he can make and it might help a little bit. All right, so as far as the uh, X post feedback with your post, it looks like you've been able to stay uh, pretty active since the beginning of the season, which is good. So, you know, I always go through and say, okay, how active? First of all, congrats on this offer. Uh, looks like you just, just literally posted it. So um, congrats, that's awesome. Um, so let's see, 14 hours ago, I think, the, are these the same? Oh, weeks one through seven, weeks one through six. Okay. Um, so that's a repost, that stuff's good. Weeks one through five. Repost, repost, repost. Share. Okay, that's good. So the only thing that you're currently posting, Jacob, is you know your week one through whatever highlight video is what it looks like. And so, you know, you're missing out on a big opportunity to post things about you so coaches can get to know you so that when you do get a chance to speak with them, they already have an idea of who you are, right? And so this could be your workouts. It could be what you're eating. It could be the things that are going on in the classroom, good grades, great, you know, there's so many different things. And especially, I think you have a really good GPA too, if I remember, um, good GPA. So like, a test score, like there's so many things that you could be posting and posting every day that will get you in the algorithm. So coaches are constantly that are following you um, to see it and to see it more often so that when you do DM them, when you do email them, they're ready for it. All right. The other thing is when I look at your posts, so it looks like that's at your high school. It must be your high school coach. Yeah. So these are your high school coaches. You know, what I would highly suggest doing is tagging your actual, the coaches that you're communicating with, the coaches that are interested in you, the coaches that you're following that you want to learn more about you. You know, especially when we go back to the top 50 to 60 schools that you're targeting, you want to get this in front of them over and over and over again. And one thing I always mention to athletes too, especially on the mid-season highlights and stuff like that, download the video directly from Huddle. There's some, some platforms out, ScreenPal, um, where, you can, where you can download, I think downloadmyvideo.com. It's something along those lines, if you Google that, um, where you can download the video directly from Huddle and upload it directly into X, so that when I land on your X account, when I land here, the video just starts playing. I don't have to click on Huddle and then watch a 30 second ad. I could just start watching your highlight video. So when you're tagging coaches, it just makes it super easy for them to be able to just watch your video. And then when you make the adjustments that I'm gonna share with you right now on your highlight video in those top you know, eight to 10 plays, uh, you should get way more responses from your outreach. So a couple of things there, doing an awesome job, just a couple of little things we'll go through. So game film, uh, we're definitely super impressed with your motor and physical play. 
dude, you're super strong. You play physical. You've got a high motor. These are things that are really positive that are really going to help you. One of the things that we'll definitely mention and we'll uh, I'll share a little more about this as we go is the tape's a little too long. All right. So when Brian would sit with, you know, whether it was uh, Sam, the head coach at Arkansas or at East Carolina or at FIU, when he would sit with these coaches, they were looking at the top three plays. And if they were good enough, then they would extend out and watch the next eight to 10 plays. And at that point, they'd have a good idea of whether they want to reach out to that player. Now, when they reach out to you, they might want to watch more. They might want to watch an entire game, right? But all we're trying to do is get their attention in the first two to three plays and then enough positive, really good plays where in the next eight to 10, right? And I'm going to share with you what they're looking for for your particular position, a DM position, and then we'll go from there. And then I'll, I'll, I'll break down these plays for you. Actually, let's just jump into it. So I would move the plays at 49, 230, and 337 up to your top th three plays to show how well you play defensive end, all right? So you, I think the first play you have on here is a blocked kick, and that's good, right? It shows your motor, it shows that you go really hard, and those are things that are really valuable. So I do think it should be in the top eight to 10 plays, but possibly not your first play, right? And so here are the, um, the three plays that should move up to your top three plays. So let's go to the 49 second mark. Okay, so here's you right here, right on the edge. Big, I think you're six one. Set the edge, and you force him inside to make the play. All right, really good job there. Obviously, you're strong. Like, look how you push him back, push him back, set the edge, and make the play. Right, really good job, really solid play right there. Physical, it's really good. All right, so let's go to two thirty. Okay, right here. Now this shows that. Ready, shed the block. Obviously, that guy's a pretty fast um, slot receiver. You set you set the edge. Let me just go back to it. There we go. Shut cut block, shut the block, go downhill. I mean, you're running with him. Right now there's another guy there to make the play, but you're running with him. Like that is exactly, that's motor. That's, that's, that's being disruptive. That's chasing the ball. These are things that coaches are looking for. That's a really solid play. And then let's look at 337. See, these plays are hidden, man. Okay, here you are on the edge. At the college level, boom, make the play. Obviously, I know that goes quick. It looks like it goes to the running back, but it's actually the quarterback keeps it. Set the edge, boom, go make the play. That's just a heck of a play. It's really good. It shows, again, set the point, set the edge, being disruptive, chasing the ball. These are all things that are really important for a defensive end that coaches are looking for. And I've got to go like three and a half minutes to find this play, right? And so coaches aren't going to see that. So right now, coaches aren't seeing your best plays and what makes you a really good player, right? So um, tape is too long. We've got to get it to four minutes. One thing I would say is you have a lot of plays um, – where you're showing that you're physical, where you're showing that you can make a big play. However, you're not actually making the, the tackle. You're not actually making the play. And so, you know, one thing that Brian and I say here is that every physical play is not necessarily a highlight, right? And so you don't need every physical play to show that you're a highlight. Again, that's the top three are the most important to keep the coaches to uh, interest, to get their interest, excuse me, and then the eight to 10 or to keep their attention, and then they're going to reach out to you, okay? So um, you want to have plays on there that show off certain traits at your position, translate to college level, right? Talked about set the point, set the edge, being disruptive, chasing the ball, high motor, uh, physicality and strength and violence, right? You have to get the most bang of the buck out of the time that the coach has to watch your tape. So those are the suggestions that we make to your tape. These will make a big difference in the coaches that you're sending this to and getting responses um, by making this simple change. All right, um, so what current division are you looking to play at right now based on everything that we have and that we've seen? Right now, we think you're a solid NAI scholarship player, which <laughs> looks like you actually just posted an NAI scholarship today. Um, when, when, I, when we did this review, it was actually before you did that post, so uh, kudos to you there and congratulations. And then, um, you know, 
you're definitely a D th- like you definitely are going to get D3 offers, right? But they can't give you athletic scholarships. So that's what we focus on is athletic scholarships. So definitely an NAI scholarship player with division two uh, potential. You could get division two scholarships, um, especially if we fix this tape and you get it in front of enough division two coaches. We think that we, you can get one coach to believe in you. So here's how the divisions were selected based on a few uh, criteria. One, physicality. You're strong, you're physical, you push people back right? This is very important. This is what college coaches are looking for. Also motor and your strength. You're super strong, right? And it's obvious, you know, one thing people post their 40 time and they post all these different things on their, uh, on their Twitter. And then you watch your tape and you're like, eh, you know, I, I don't think you're a four, four. I don't think you're this strong, but the, the strength that you're showing on your X is correlating to on the field, right? And coaches love motor. They love strength. And so, um, that that was that went into the process, and then the divisions we believe will uh, have opportunities available based on your talent level and recruiting timeline. Right, you're 25, and so this is what we believe will have the most opportunities available right now, based on you starting outreach uh, today at a very high level and doing it correctly. Right, because like the big the, the three things that most athletes are struggling with is one, are they doing outreach at all? Two, are they doing enough outreach? And then three. Are they doing outreach the right way, right? And if you, and, and most are struggling with all three, but a lot of people are doing outreach, but they're not doing enough or they're doing outreach and they're just not doing it right, right? So, or they're not targeting the right schools or they don't have their highlight video set up correctly. There's so many different things, but those are the core three. So how do you get to the next division, right? Which is what we always look for. So going forward, I would continue to work on your flexibility and your foot speed, right? Remember that one play where you're chasing that slot receiver? Obviously that guy is, you know, looks like 80 pounds less than you and you're staying with him but we'd love to see your quickness out of that you know on the edge boom shed the block and i want to see your quickness right outside uh or getting off the line uh and moving excuse me down the line uh we want to see that to be a little bit quicker you may be asked at the next level uh, to play at a stand-up position and showing progress in these areas on tape may help uh level up your final evaluation so there were a couple plays where you were standing up and so that's probably what's going to happen at the next level, depending on the defense that you play for. So we'd like to see uh, you, uh, you know, if this is possible, uh, stand up more and that'll level up your tape. Again, flexibility. This is something totally in your control, man. S- stretch every day. Put a 20 minute time block on your calendar, stretch it, stretch every day and work on your foot speed. And one thing that I always mention and I always mention over and over and over again is that if you're not marketing yourself, right? If we're not posting every day, you could be posting. You could take these highlights. You could do one play. You could show your workouts. You could show your lifts. You could show your footwork drills. You can show um, the food that you're eating. You show what you're doing in the classroom, right? You gotta be posting. You gotta be marketing yourself. Um, And then, you know, if you're not getting this tape in front of enough coaches, especially at the D2 and NAI level, they're not going to see you. You're not going to get offers, right? And so the way that you do that, I'm sure if you've watched my YouTube videos and what, what we teach internally is, yes, you can use some tools. There are some really cool automations and AI out there. Um, and depending on your situation, with that said, finding the area coaches at these schools, getting this tape in front of them, pitching them properly, telling your story, uh, getting them on, on a phone call, not being afraid of rejection, and um moving them to visits like these are this is the process and you should be doing this 90 minutes at this point you know you're not a 20 you're not a sophomore you're not a junior you're a senior you should be doing 90 minutes every single day at this point so hope this provided you value jacob a really great player excited to watch your development you've got the size too so could be a lot of opportunities you continue to go through college. Now, if you're watching this video and you want a professional evaluation for your son, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you got value from this video and you like to watch more videos just like it, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to watch the interview I did with Lane Kiffin, where he shares exactly what he looks for when recruiting and offering division one college football players, then you're gonna wanna watch this video right here.